So this mod for Mountain Blade called Prisno got updated for the first time in a year. And this is my third attempt at recording this video. And I've been playing through the mod and there's a lot of really cool features that it has. Do I prefer it more than Prophecy of Pandora? I'm not really sure. But I thought it'd make for a really cool little mini series. So we're going to be a man, elf. And in this mod, you can get 10 looting at level 1, which increases your loot by 100%, essentially doubling the amount of loot you get. And so we chose a thief, stealing, a bandit, and for money and power. We're going to do no quitting without saving, and we're going to be playing an archer, so I'm going to be Legolas. So we're going to start with 15 strength, and we're just going to mash points in a power draw. We will pick up 2 points of riding as well, and we're just going to put the rest of our points in archery. So we're going to take a ship to Four and Iron in the Elentoran Nation, which is the elves. And so we start in Four and Iron, and we can talk to Queen Arwen. We're hoping that she's going to give us the taxes quest and she doesn't actually have any quests we're gonna check the tavern and oh my god this is an amazing find so this guy is 3,000 actually and we don't have enough money for him unfortunately so first goal is we need to make 3,000 and come back to four iron and hire that guy because he has an insane trade skill and getting really high trade early on would be amazing so we started out with 1500 and in elsinore silk is really cheap although it looks like it's still pretty expensive because it's like day one so we'll wait on the price for that to go down in the meantime we're just going to talk to whatever lord we see princess lithandril is someone we'll try to marry later on i believe okay we'll just do this quest so we can start building a relation with her so cool enough the guy is actually really really close i don't know why she even gave us the quest she could have just talk to him herself but i guess she's a princess and she could not be bothered to walk two steps so we got one relation with her so there's a deer herd over here and i think we're just gonna hunt for the 1500 this is kind of a cheap way to get money i think because the deer can't really fight back and i probably wouldn't be doing this if i wasn't extremely desperate but we really need that 3k i wonder if i can herd them into like the wall and just start slaying them all. Hopefully before they can run away. Okay, they're in the wall right there. Oh yeah. No dick dick alive has ever seen what will happen next. Got him. <laughs> Alright, I think we're done with that. So we got a fair amount of deer meat and we got some hides as well. So the deer meat sells for 133 and the hides only sell for 108, but we're just going to sell them all anyways. And so we got 28.92 for that. We'll head back to Fort Iron and hopefully the dude is still there. He is. Now, hopefully we can talk to him again. Perfect. Wow. That's actually an insane start. Um, scripted af and we're gonna talk to this guy and he's gonna have a quest for us so this guy fossil he has an eight trade skill and then he also has a nomad bow which i might take he has four in horse archery so i think i'll leave him the bow and i will take his two-handed sword and i'll give him my hatchet and shield and hopefully we can take out these peasant rebels with just two of us which might have been a mistake um we get 12 renown for this so that means they are fairly strong compared to us fossil is completely out of arrows and so we're gonna have him run back. If I get knocked out and he's knocked out, then we get taken prisoner by these filthy rebels. Two left. One left. He actually tagged my mount pretty hard. All right, we took him out. Got 12 renown, which is not gonna be a big deal. We're gonna eventually lose all renown anyways. So we're gonna talk to the guildsmen and we get 250 orms. Not a whole lot, but it helps. All right, so the main thing now is we're just gonna keep talking to the green lords. Taxis quest is really good, but it's a village taxis quest. They may ambush us here, especially since we only have two people. That might have been a big mistake. But it looks like they're not going to fight. And we got 11k for that quest. So the thing is, I don't have to turn in. And I can just start out with an extra 11k. But I believe you can only have one taxes quest at a time. So if I don't turn it in, then I can't get any other taxes quest from anyone. So oddly enough, Queen Arwen got defeated. So I think we're going to wait for her to come back. In the meantime, let's head over to Elsinore. And let's see if the silk prices have gone down again. Another thing is, we're going to hire a couple of these Elentoran hunters. And the reason why is because if I run into someone on accident... We we can sacrifice them and we can get away so the price of silk has gone down from 1300 to 400 and that's fine raw silk by the way the regular silk's only 200 so i'm gonna be able to sell this for a huge profit so they have a really cool selling system in this mod so if you click on something and you hit sell before it will sell everything that's to the left and above that item so in the meantime we're just kind of waiting for queen arwen to get back and we're gonna head over to the realm of the falcon all right so we made it over to fountain hall and apparently if you take a walk around the streets there is a legendary weapon hidden somewhere so i have to try to find that all right so as you enter the town you take a right and then there's these merchants over here and right here is a chest and it's got the 
Hamlet's Divine Hammer, which has only 44 damage and pretty low speed and reach. So it doesn't seem all that amazing, but it can crush through blocks and it's 44 blunt damage. So it can pound through heavy armor. And I believe it can take prisoners. In Pandora, if you kill someone with a blunt weapon, it always knocks them out and you can take them prisoner. But in prison, no, it's different. I think it's only a chance to knock them out or something. I don't know. But anyways, we're gonna take the weapon and we're gonna give it to a companion probably, or I can use it myself. I'm at 15 strength, so we're gonna need three more levels to use it. I might use it with the bow, especially like early on when I don't have that much power draw. Alright, so Queen Arwen is back in 4 and Iron, and I'm gonna turn the tax quest into her. So we get 2k off of that, which is still quite a lot. And in the meantime, we're gonna go look for another taxes quest, as well as we want to find some other factions that are at war with each other. So the Reich, which is orange, is currently at war with Drahara, which is purple. So in the meantime, I'm gonna head over to one of these factions. I'm gonna try to become their mercenary. So I was kind of fast traveling carelessly, and we ran into some Draharan desert warriors. We can leave one soldier behind. We lose 20 morale, but who cares about morale when we have two other troops. So in Murdenhall in the tavern, there's this guy called Remus and he tells you this insanely long story. But if you tell him to finish the story, and he'll give you 150 orms for free. And he wants us to deliver Archduke Methanor a message. So I found the weapons enthusiast. And he was at Arendal, but I think he can be anywhere. But he gives us this quest to find the rapier. We're going to go to a training field. And so we're there. There's a few of these around. And so if we talk to this guy, I think we do this option and more mysterious matters. And so we have to beat three of these guys in a row. But I don't have much power strikes. So this might be kind of hard. But this one, I have a better, faster weapon. All right, number two. We got a sword again, which is pretty good. Oh, we got a two-hander. This is bad, I think. He's fast, too. Yeah, that was going to work. All right, so round one, he missed. That's good. I think we win this. Maybe not. Oh, blocked him. Okay, he two-shots me, and I don't two-shot him. I've been doing this for so long that it's now a new season. At least we can do this infinite times. I got level two. <laughs> Each time I kill them, I'm getting 30 XP, so you can imagine how many times I've been doing this. By the time we get out of here, I'll probably be like level 30. It's snowing again. We're in a new season again. We missed his swing. One more. We have the sword. Nope. Oh, we missed. This is it. Oh, I think we won. Oh, we did it. 500 XP. So we have to go to the library at Galway to the next part of the quest. Kara's here. Let's see if she's expensive. Oh, she's free. She has three in wound treatment, which is nice. And she's got four in horse archery. So it looks like she's going to be an archer. And she's a light crossbow. And she can use that on horseback. So that's pretty nice. And she has special nobles bolts that give her 18 to damage. So she's going to be doing a lot of damage. So it looks like Purple's actually doing a campaign. Hopefully they'll hire me as a mercenary. So for some reason, I'm looking directly at this guy's crotch. And I've been asking a lot of lords from both orange and purple's faction for quests and they will not give me the mercenary contract so i think i need to either wait for some time or get a stronger party and so in the meantime i'm going to do this quest the sandwalker hideout quest in order to do that i'm going to need some help and i'm going to hire some mercenaries from this guy i think you can bring a max of like five units so i'm going to hire three and hopefully they're going to be strong enough to help us take out the bandit lair they're mercenary shadow guards and they're mounted which is quite unfortunate actually mounted units are not as strong in the hideout quest their equipment is like pretty meh so they could get just one shot and i might just fail it also i'm gonna dump these ellen torn hunters because they're just gonna take extra loot there's a bunch of sandwalkers over here so yep the sandwalker den is right here one thing is that i can't get knocked out if i do we auto lose and yeah we were able to bring in all of the mercenaries so i think it's a max of five extra units so six including myself these mercenaries are so sucky they don't even have throwing weapons some of them oh my god one already died to these plebs 300 each, really? Two dead. Oh, so we got some respawns, this is bad. Oh, well, this guy's drawing aggro. Coming from behind, he doesn't see me. Level three, baby. I was not expecting these low level companions were gonna be doing more work than the mercenaries, but they definitely are. To be fair, those mercenaries were meant to be cavalry and not meant for a quest like this. Ooh, nice headshot. Good job, dude. 96 items left in the item pool because we don't have a very big party size. So we got, holy crap, exquisite dried meat. Look at all this equipment, dude. It's all so expensive. The trade goods are going to sell for way more than this stuff because like the price of armor will go down once I trade it to a vendor, but the trade goods will stay around the same. All right, so we made it out and now we have no units. So we need to hire some units so we don't get taken out. We got two tribesmen. Those guys will be our sacrificial goats. And so the exquisite meat actually sells for more value than what it was 
priced at when I picked it up. But like the boots, they were supposed to sell for 3K and they go down to 480. And by the way, those boots are much better than mine. So I'll use these. I'll actually use that headpiece too. It's pretty good. And this horse is lame, but with wound treatment and a little bit of time and a little bit of love and care, it will heal back up to a regular horse. But yeah, the whiskey is 600, fine honey 600, fine wine 645, and then the fine raw silk for 900 is pretty good. The more I think about it, I think that's actually a really good price for silk. Also note that it's this high because we have a trader skill, and so we'll sell all of that. And the merchant actually doesn't even have enough money. We'll just not sell some of this trade goods, I guess. So we got 8K for that, and then let's sell the rest of this stuff off. We got another 2.7, so we're at 14.5k already. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm working on part two as we speak, as well as a couple other videos. But if you're just here for Prisno, this series will go into a playlist below. Let me know if you guys liked it in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.